Um, do you have a copy of 30 Days in the Samarkand Desert with a Spoon by P.E.J. Elliot? <laughs> Not in stock, sir, but we could order it for uh, you. No, no, a bit of a rush, actually. Um, I wonder if you have a copy of 101 Ways to Start a Monsoon by an Indian gentleman whose name eludes me for the moment. <laughs> Not familiar with the book, sir. Not to worry, worth a try, worth a try. Uh, can you help me with David Copperfield? Dickens, yes. Uh, no. Pardon? No, Edmund Wells. <laughs> I think you'll find, sir, that Charles Dickens wrote David Copperfield. Uh, no, Charles Dickens wrote David Copperfield with two Ps. This is David Copperfield with one P by Edmund Wells. I should have mentioned that. <laughs> well, in that case, we don't have it, sir. Funny, you've got a lot of books here. We do have a lot of books, but we don't have David Copperfield with one P. Ah, oh, well, pity, because it's more thorough than the Dickens. More thorough? Yeah. Uh, do you think it's worthwhile my having a look through your David Copperfield? Oh, no, no, I can assure you, sir, all our David Copperfields have two Ps. Uh, yes, so did the original edition by Edmund Wells. It was after that that they ran into the copyright difficulty. Well, all our David Copperfields have two Ps and are by Charles Dickens. Oh. Uh, how about Great Expectations? Ah, now there I can help you, sir. That's G-R-A-T-E, Expectations. <laughs> also by Edmund Wells. In that case, we wouldn't have it, so we don't stock Edmund Wells. He's not terribly popular. Not Nicholas Nickleby? That's K-N-I-C-K-E-R-L-E-S-S. -E Nicholas. <laughs> also by Edmund Wells. No. A Christmas Carol with a Q. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Quite all right. Oh, ah, um, do you have a copy of Ranaby Budge? <laughs> well, as I say, sir, we don't stock Edmund Wells. Uh, no, not Edmund Wells, Charles Dickens. <laughs> oh, you mean Barnaby Budge, yes. No, Barnaby Budge by Charles Dickens with two K. He's the well-known Dutch author. <laughs> <laughs> No, sir, we do not have Ranaby Budge by Charles Dickens with two Ks, the well-known Dutch author. Neither, to save you time, do we have Carnaby Fudge by Dallas Chickens, nor Stickwick Stapers by Miles Pickens with four ends and a silent Q. <laughs> Why don't you try the high street? I did, they sent me here. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you have a copy of the amazing adventures of Captain Gladys Stoat pamphlet and her intrepid spaniel Stig among the giant pygmies of Corsica, volume two. <laughs> Strangely enough, no. Oh. I mean, we are a bookshop oh. and we should... I won't bother you any further. I wonder if you've I do, We are closing... But, 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 what? What? I thought I saw it over there. What? Olsen's Standard Book of British Birds. <laughs> Olsen's Standard Book of British Birds? Yes. O-L-S-E-N? Yes. B-I-R-D-S? <laughs> yes. We've got that. The expurgated version, of course. <laughs> I don't think I quite caught that, sir. The expurgated version. The expurgated version of Olsen's standard book of British birds. Yes, the uh, one without the gannet. <laughs> one without the gannet. <laughs> They've all got the gannet, sir. It's a standard British bird. Well, I don't like them. We've got long, nasty beaks. I don't like you could hardly expect Olsen to produce a special edition for gannet haters. Well, I'm sorry, I do want it without the gannet. Without the gannet. There. <laughs> Anything else? But well, I don't like Robins, Robins too much. Robins, 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 <laughs> Robins. There you are, sir. There's your book. I can't buy that. Why not? Well, I mean, it's torn. I'll see you. <laughs> I wonder if... Yeah, you go on, want... ask me another. Go on, this is a bookshop. Go how on. about, how about Biggles Combs His Hair? <laughs> I mean, um, ask me another. Do you have a first edition of Tars and Shrivels Up? No. 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 What about Ethel the Aardvark Goes Quantity Surveying? Oh. Pardon? Ethel the Aardvark goes quantity surveying. You've got that? That's somewhere. It's somewhere. Are you are, sir? No gannets, no robins. Just Ethel the Aardvark. There's your book. Buy it. I'm, I'm afraid I don't have enough money with me. I'll take a deposit. I don't have any money with I'll me. I'll take a check. I haven't got a checkbook. I've got a check fold here. I don't have a bank account. Don't worry, I'll buy it for you. Look, there's your book. There's the change. Then I'll get you a taxi home. No, wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? I can't read. <laughs> right. Sit. <laughs> One day... Ethel the Aardvark went down the lane, trottity, trottity, trot, and she met a quantity surveyor. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> there's the quantity surveyor. 